Well, good morning. We started walking at eight, which is kind of late, but we did sleep so well. We were so cozy in our sleeping bags. So we weren't cold at all. A lot of condensation inside the tent because the outside of the tent was a lot colder. And we did sleep with all the doors closed to keep it warmer inside. So the tent's pretty wet, but that's okay. We'll dry it off at lunch or something. And we're back in the volcanic area. It is so pretty. The, the mountain's kind of making its own clouds. It's kind of cloudy right here, but you can see around, there's no clouds around. So hopefully the sun will break through and warm up. It got into the low 40s last night, so kind of chilly. We quickly got up, quickly ate breakfast, and then started walking to stay warm. So that's a good motivator to get walking is the cold temperature. But so pretty. I'm loving the open, expansive views that we haven't had the past couple days. So it's been really nice. The game today are the water sources. So there's like 25 miles to the road and there's like three water sources. So it's gonna be a bit of a kind of a challenge. So it's kind of better that it's colder. We don't tend to drink as much water when it's colder for better or worse, but that is the plan today. We'll see, it's gonna be a really good day. Everybody's feeling pretty good. A couple sore feet. We do have a lot more lava rocks to walk on today, which will be really pretty, but also slow. And everybody's a little worried about that. I think it's like six miles of just lava rocks, which is really gonna slow us down and may prevent us from reaching the roadhead by 6.30, but we'll see. Spirits are high. Good morning. Slept so good last night. I love whenever it gets colder at night. We just sleep so much better. And our flat was like, our spot was like perfectly flat. But I am getting a later start this morning. <laughs> Last one to leave camp. Um, I am well rested, but my knee is giving me a little bit of trouble. So I had to brace up and take some ibuprofen. So hopefully that will feel better later today um we're starting the day off with seven miles of downhill which is awesome um but the biggest challenge that we will face today will be walking through five five miles of lava field and we did two miles of that yesterday and the bottom of my feet are killing me so five miles we'll see We'll see how that goes. I'm sure it'll be beautiful, but man, that it's so hard. It's almost like walking on sand, how you take like one step forward and then like 12 steps back. It almost like pushes you backwards. So I don't know, we'll see. This should be fun. We'll hit the 2000 mile marker today. Really excited for that. And we will go into Big Lake. I think it's called Big Lake Youth Camp and hang out there. I think if we get there at a certain time, we can either get, depending on what time we get there, they'll serve lunch and dinner. Obviously we miss breakfast, but if we can make it there for dinner, that'd be pretty cool. Not sure how far that is from here. I think it's like 15 miles. So yep, that is the plan. We will get trail magic from Worldwide's friend today. Uh, she's bringing either rotisserie chickens or pizza. So that's really exciting as well. But I am going to try to catch up with the group. Um, I am falling shortly behind. So I'll see you guys up the trail today. I think today's going to be a good day. There's another lava flow. It's crazy. It's you can obviously tell where the lava stopped. So cool. I have never seen anything like these lava flows. Like literally there's grass and it's flat and dirt. And you can just see where the lava flow obviously stopped. I don't know how long ago. I'm sure it was a long time ago, but 
That is so cool. Nothing's growing on the lava rocks, but all the dirt that we're walking on is flat and sandy. So there's lots of plants on that. That's unreal. I, I, it's so cool to walk through. These past couple of days have been freezing cold without the sun up. So I think when we get to Bend this weekend, tomorrow, we will have to buy some more thermals because we sent ours home after the Sierras and we figured it'd be cheaper. I mean, we just had like cheap little cuddle duds from Walmart. So probably just buy another pair of those. They did very well for us in the Sierras. They're not the lightest, but <laughs> we obviously don't care about weight. Um, but yeah, we'll, we will probably get a new pair just because it has been so cold. And I'm sure as we get closer to Washington, it's just gonna get even more cold, so. We didn't eat dinner with our trail family last night, but our little family does this adorable thing where at dinner time, we will talk about our rosebud thorn for the day. So rose being what you looked, or what was your favorite part of the day, bud being what you look forward for the next day, and thorn being your least favorite part of the day. So that's really cute. We didn't get to talk about ours yesterday, but my rose was probably uh, hanging out with everybody at the waterfall. Haven't seen anything like that with the obsidian rocks. Pretty cool. We probably won't see anything like that again, just because there's nothing like that in Georgia. So, and my thorn being Walking across the lava rocks was not very helpful for my knees or my feet. And my bud, well, my bud would be for today. So my bud is looking forward to the trail magic that Worldwide's friend is providing for us today. So she is coming out of her way from work, after work, to meet up with us and provide trail magic for us so that's pretty awesome a very selfless and kind thing to do for just complete strangers so yeah I think that is adorable that our trail family sits around dinner every night and talks about their day it just ends the day on a lovely note all right just filled up at this pond this is the last one for 16 miles I think our next water is at Big Lake Youth Camp. Our next marked water. There might be small snow melt ponds still around and there might be a water cache at the highway. Hopefully there's something, but I think we'll make it either way. Not super hot, the sun just poked out and we chugged a bunch of water at the pond. So we should be hydrated up and make it there. No problem. Five miles of this. This is gonna be fun. You can kind of see the castle over there. Hopefully that's where we're heading. That'd be pretty cool to see. Little blue blaze for a good toilet. All worthwhile for a little bit of trail magic. Booyah! Look at his little shoes! Come here! Hello! The sheer little shoes! Oh my goodness! Hey yo!
halfway through a five or six mile walk across this lava field. So we climbed a thousand feet and now we're in the clouds. So eerie, so cool. Now we have to climb the thousand feet down. And then I think the lava field's over after that. Very slow going, very tedious. Lots of ankle breakers out here. So thankful we're not doing this barefoot. Holy cow, these rocks are sharp. But this is definitely my favorite part of the trail so far. Just otherworldly. There's no vegetation. You got the smoke. It's like walking on a different planet. I know I've said that before, but this is unreal. I love this. And it's cool. Nice breeze. Almost cold. But it's perfect for the climb because you don't really sweat. It just keeps you cool. Pretty awesome. And we made it to the end of the rock walk. That was not easy. You would think after almost five months of hiking that our ankles and our feet would be not as tender or weak. So yeah, that was hard. <laughs> it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. It's very foggy, very eerie, but good thing we'll be cozied up in a hotel room and waiting out the storm. Good day. And I spoke too soon. More rocks. My poor ankles. Is miserable I'm not having a good time I'm just being a little bit dramatic but yeah this isn't fun uh, my feet are hurting pretty bad I'm probably not even going one mile per hour so um, props to Chris sorry trout props to trout for just being able to run through this like a madman so I will meet up with him ah! quite shortly, I guess. So we just left the Big Lake Youth Camp. We had a cool little Hangout hiker area. section. We they had some biscuits and sausage in the fridge, mm -hmm. so we made some sausage biscuits. That was pretty awesome. Had a nice hot cup of coffee. Oh yeah, that was, that was a great little place. It's, a, it's on this really pretty lake. It's a really nice operation they got here. Super, super thankful that they're so chill uh, and letting hikers come in. And uh, yeah, so we're a couple miles from the road. That's where the trail magic is. It's been on and off raining. Yeah, it's been raining on and off for the whole day. Not not bad, bad. It is gonna rain tonight though. And it's cold. It is cold. It is pretty cold. I think it's gonna actually rain tonight, so we're gonna get everything, keep everything in the tent. And get cozy in our sleeping Yay. bags. And cuddle. Yay, I love it. <laughs> A huge milestone! Ah! 2,000 minus 120. This means we have 650, 650 miles, miles left. Yay! Yay! What a huge milestone. The 2,000 mile marker. Yeah. We excluded the 120 miles that we were required to skip due to fire closures. But man, uh, I think we've done enough side trips and blue blazes to make up for <laughs> the 120 miles but still we didn't technically walk 2,000 miles of the PCT just yet but that's still pretty cool to hit that mile marker oh, yeah. it has already started to thunder and rain your girl does not like thunderstorms so I am running as fast as I possibly can to get to the tent set up so I can get a little bit of safety and some hot food and some hot food but safety first do not like thunderstorms As you can see, 
we are not wet in our tent and sad. Uh, we were running to get to our tent, um, or getting to our tent set up. And as soon as we got to the trailhead, there was a trail angel, like with her window rolled down, it was pouring rain. We were cold and she was like, come on, like, let's go. I'll give you a ride into town. Um, so you can like get dry. And then she invited us back to her home, which is where we're at right now. Uh, we took a shower we we're clean. She gave us clothes. She stopped on the way home to like get food and we are going to have a good night's sleep in a nice warm bed tonight. So that was pretty awesome. Very unexpected, but much needed because today wasn't that great of a day as far as uh, terrain and of course the thunderstorm. But I'm so glad we're inside because it is our, it's still it's still like hailing and thunderstorm and lightning. So yeah, it'd be a tough, uh, tough time in the tent tonight. Very, very thankful that the connector, uh, yeah, her that's, name her, is the that's connector. her name. So she picked us up. We're so thankful to be here. Mm -hmm. She picks up, uh, hikers and, uh, the ba bike packers also. Yeah. Bike packers. So she's super, super awesome. Opened up her home to us. So we are sleeping in a, shelter that's not a pit toilet <laughs> and it's and it's dry and warm and we're so excited we showered we oh, showered and then we're gonna zero tomorrow so we had two nights in warm in bed, a warm bed. so nice yeah we um we did unfortunately have to leave our gang behind but we'll see them tomorrow yeah tomorrow's gonna be really exciting for our zero in bend i heard bend is a really cool town it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow too, so just being nice and cozy in a hotel room is going to be super awesome. Yeah, it was really a really good day, really hard day. It uh, was twenty five yeah. miles, so and it was not, it wasn't crazy elevation, but it was hard elevation. That climbing the lava, that lava flow was tough. That was tough. Our ankles hurt. Our bottom of our feet are tender. So glad to have that section behind us it was also probably one of my favorite sections oh, so yeah hardness really aside that was a very beautiful section yeah so oh sorry <laughs> so we're gonna take it easy tomorrow rest our bodies get as much sleep as we can edit some videos i'm behind on that again yeah get videos out and we will catch y'all tomorrow